We may be on the road to fast lane, but we're not making money anytime fast. Welcome back, guys, to South Scotland 90. It's the WWE 2K24 ECW My GM Mode. And the problem is we need money and we don't really have any. Now, I know ECW always had an issue financially. They never really had much money. And we seem to be in the same boat here. We've only got $89,000. And that's not a lot of money, especially when we need to get this wrestling center bought by the end of the next show. So look, I accept we're in a lot of trouble. We need to get this booked and we need to use it next time out. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to use this week's show. I'm going to use all the promo spots on advertisements. I'm going to hope that these women can deliver. I'm going to hope that they can get us some money. I'm going to not use any sort of matches that cost money. And we're going to try and just Make as much as we can, profit as much as we can, and get enough in order to buy the wrestling arena for next week. Now, because this show is probably going to suck out, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm looking at it, I'm not expecting it to do well. I've decided that we are going to try something here, try something different in order to, to save the ratings. So we're going to go into power cards, we're going to use special promotion, we're going to click that. And that means that we'll retain most of our fans this week. So despite expecting a really poor show, hopefully with that power card, we'll be able to not lose a lot of fan base. That's what I'm hoping will happen. Let's get into it. Let's go. Again, WCW doing the same old matches week in, week out. Very lame, very boring, very predictable. But it just seems to be the way these my GM work. So I wish there was more creativity. I, I wish there was more you could do to keep rivalries going, advance rivalries, other than just have match after match after match. It's almost like if you don't have the same people wrestling every single week, they punish you. And I try not do that. But you can see we have been punished so far because we're not doing good. So yeah, anyway, wow, 13 and a half grand Alexa Bliss just made. She didn't lose any popularity out of it either. That's brilliant. That's fantastic news. And Alexa Bliss we trust. Right, let's give Karrion Cross his debut. Karrion Cross about to make his ECW. ECW debut in Sacramento, California. What can he do tonight? What can Karrion Cross do? Can he nail his opponent to a cross? Can he cross the line into the land of the extreme? We're going to see. But yeah, I really don't like using this arena. I mean, it is a bingo hall. Uh, it just doesn't look good. I think we need to take a step up. I completely agree with Carmel Hayes last episode. Anyway, Karrion Cross looks a wee bit... <laughs> a little bit angry there, brother. Who pissed you off? Karrion Cross looking mean, looking serious. Looking threatening. Taking his time to get to the ring, though. He's going to make his wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on Karrion Cross coming down. Karrion Cross in his ugly tattoos, his ugly sleeve. And uh, I'm sure he will be looking to make this an ugly night. Definitely for Brooks Jensen. He will want to make Brooks Jensen pay. It is obviously normal that uh, Karrion Cross would want to win his first night on ECW. So, yeah, looking forward to this. Should be a good match. Expecting it to be a good match. And Karrion Cross, I'm interested in seeing what he can do in this land of extreme, this ECW concept. Could we be looking at a future ECW champion here? I mean, he's got the entrance, he's got the lights. Has he got what it takes? So we're going to find it slapping his chest there like a madman. And that's it. Time. Time of Sands coming to an end. Is Brooke Jensen's time running out? I mean, it very well might be. Let's do this. Brooks Jensen's actually, he's a big kid though. I mean, look at the size of Brooks Jensen. No doubt about it. He's actually a bigger man in this. So it's not going to be one way traffic. I would not imagine Karrion Cross will dispose of Brooke easily here. And Brooke Jensen coming at the gate, fighting strong with big lefts, big rights, and then a knee and an elbow. Takes two and cross. The cross then fighting back, but he gets caught, and now it is Jensen Irish Whip, 
Tucks underneath. Flips over the top. Oh, and he goes for a flapjack there. Just tossing, carrying Cross into the air. Cross has to try and roll his way out, and he's caught him. And hits an overhead German, so nice German suplex there for the Cross here. And he's going for the gut wrench. Hits a power bomb. Flattens him out. And it just both men here exchanging strikes in the early going. Another big right hand to cross. And then a big shot there taking down Jensen. Now these stomps in the corner. Carrying cross. Relentless. Just not backing down. Jawbreaker though for Brooks Jensen. Jensen then running Bulldog. And Cross has to roll to the outside here to try and buy himself a little bit of time. And Brooks Jensen wants him back in. <laughs> it's the suicide dive through the middle rope. Look at that again. Just kind of keep Cross down. He's straight back up. And then he hits a running knee. Oh, and then a big shot there. And Carol carrying Cross looks like he's in rage mode here. Carrying cross on the what's he doing outside? Pump handle slam, perhaps. Oh, and he just throws Brooks Jensen face first on the outside. Cross now. Double axe handle takes down Jensen. Jensen getting absolutely done in here. Getting smashed by uh, carrying cross. Cross now. Does get into the ring and just oh, I don't know what he was going for. I think he's going to try and lock in a submission, maybe. And Bricks just like not tonight, not on me. Big power slam for Brooks. Brooks goes for the cover, and Carry Cross is like, nah, I'm not losing my debut. Not to you. You're a jobber. Oh, flying famous for Brooks Jensen. Shades a Billy Gun there, badass Billy Gun. Oh, and carrying cross two and a half. Just got the shoulder up there. Holy crap. Brooks Jensen. But, oh, he went for the. I think he went for a submission. I think he went for the finisher. I don't know what he went for, but cross countered it. And now cross just a throwaway suplex. Looking very dangerous and maybe spelling the end here. Cross now just stomping away relentlessly. Look at this. Just not. Oh, now he's just. He said it's all over. He said it's all over for Brooks. Brooks could be in big trouble. Irish whip. Big Samoan drop almost. And now it's, look at this. Look at these big forearm shots. Big strikes. Big left hands and we'll bust him open. Look at this, Brooks Jensen trying to cover up here. Trying to avoid. But he can't avoid it. Oh, and we just... A big suplex lands on his head. And now Cross has got that arm ready. And it looks like we're going to go for this again. No, hip toss. Big counter for Brooks Jensen. Massive counter for Brooks. Gets himself back in this. Look, oh, cross, counters, and cross again goes downstairs, and another hip toss, another counter for Brooks Jensen, refusing to go down tonight, refusing to get beat, as, I don't know what Brooks Jensen's doing, he's in the ring, he's trying to get himself hyped up here, oh, and he got caught coming in, he got caught coming in, and this could be bad. Oh, big power bomb up the top on a bust to open Brooks Jensen. Cross. And Cross wins. I mean, Brooks was trying to use speed there. He's trying to hop on the top row, go for a big adventurous maneuver, but Cross wasn't having it. Just caught him on the top row, brought him crashing down to the mat. Back of his neck, cracking where you don't want it to crack. And then we see the cracks opening up for Brooks Jensen. Karrion Cross took the opportunity to get the win tonight. So, I mean, Karrion Cross shows that he doesn't need to his finisher to beat you. He can beat you with any move. He's got a decent arsenal on him. Only a two-star match, so a little bit disappointing. Kind of hoping we'd get a bit more, but whatever. It's a win for Karrion Cross. It's a decent opening week. We've done okay. 
10, well, I mean, Fallon Henley just got 10 grand, but she lost 10 popularity. That's disgusting. 10 popularity, man. Are you shitting me? Uh, Josh Briggs picks up a win. Disappointing win, should I add. Gigi Dolan gets five and a half. Loses three popularity. Main event then. Priest versus LA Knight. Priest wins again. Good match. Three stars. LA Knight injured. Holy shit. Why is everybody getting injured? I mean, it's not even funny. And you can see the match card. Okay, look, we didn't have a good week. I will accept that. But I'm just hoping the power card we used hopefully maintained most of our fans. WCW, a 38,000 increase. Right, okay. ECW, a 31,000 increase. Okay, it's a bit of a loss, but I'm just glad we didn't lose more. And then Raw, 44,000. Okay, that's not great. So Raw then goes back ahead of us, which is disappointing. Raw once again takes the lead by about 10,000. But on the good news, good side, we do have enough budget now to buy that wrestling arena. So we can go ahead and do that. Sheamus' contract's up. Oh, man, I want Sheamus, but... Oh, no. No, um, we have to talk figures here. Um, Thanks for your work. I can't. I, I, no, man, but he's the champ. I need Sheamus. I'm going to have to disappoint Carmelo Hayes. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get his 88 popularity. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to accept it. God damn it! Right. That's so annoying. What's the, what the hell is this? McIntyre's having a hissy fit. Feels good to be the best, wouldn't you agree? I feel like ECW is the best brand around, and me and the best superstar around. I want us to be on the same page about this. Do you appreciate all I've done to bring ECW to limelight? Um. Yes. He wants 50k. Fuck. He wants 50k, man. I'm going to say no. I just don't have enough money to give him 50k. Oh, McIntyre's not happy. And now Kevin Owens said he's too fat and he needs some time off. Uh, take a week off at the hell spa. Okay, there you go. That's, gonna, that's probably going to cost us even more money. Oh man, Drew. I guess we can't get the big arena yet. I mean, I have, we're probably going to have to bring some more wrestlers in. LA Knight's out injured. Naka, Nakamura's out injured. Dominic's out injured. Um, well, I just accept that we can't get the wrestling center right now. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Um, let's let's try and bring somebody in. We don't even have the money, really, do we? Do we have enough money? Let's see. We'll try. Let's just have one. Let's have just. Let's just have a wee look, and and see what's happening. So talent scouts. We're going to scout Renault Stars. It's costing us ten thousand. Let's do it. Hopefully we can get somebody decent. All right. So Bobby Lashley, Drew Gulak, Leb Morgan, Selena Vega. That's the four options to us. And honestly, I'm not really happy with any of them. I'm not ha I'm not happy with any of these people. We don't want any of these people. But it's the only people who have been given. It feels like a waste if we don't get one of them. But at the same time, I think I'd rather waste 10k than waste money. Not that I'm saying Bobby Lashley is a waste. We just simply don't have enough money to bring in Bobby Lashley. It would cost us too much. So, yeah, I was disappointed. I was kind of hoping for somebody that would fit our brand. And I don't think anybody there currently does. So... Yeah, that's not great. Look, guys, that's where we'll leave it. Make sure you like the video, comment, uh, catch me in the next one. We've got a couple weeks to go for a fast lane. We need to try and improve. We're obviously not going to be able to please Camilla Hayes there, which sucks, but he's just going to have to accept it. And, uh, yeah, we need to put a good show on. Some of our wrestlers last week lost popularity. Hopefully we can win it back this week. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Been so Scotland 80. Make sure you check out. Next week, and see what happens in the land of extreme. See if we can win back that second place for WWE Raw. But until then, peace.